Do you know that you're spending too much money on your grocery shopping? Here are nine habits and hacks that will save you loads of money on your grocery shopping. Hi, I'm Aida Saini from Mom Savers Network and welcome once again. Hacks and tips that I will be sharing today is actually from personal experience. Uh, some of my friends actually asked me, you know, hey, uh, how do you actually buy groceries for your family of six? I have four growing boys, teenagers, and they eat a lot. I shared with them this habit and hacks and it actually saved them a lot of money from their grocery shopping. Habit number one is avoid buying pre-cut vegetables and fruits. Okay, I know this is going to save you a lot of time. You don't want to mess with the, the fruits or the vegetables and the peeling and the cutting uh, and the washing. But these are some pointers that I'm going to show you why you should not buy pre-cut uh, vegetables and fruits. Number one is because they are handled by somebody else. You don't know the, the state of com contamination. And of course, pre-cut vegetables and fruits are lesser in quantity for the same amount of price of uncut fruits and vegetables. So save you money there. Habit number two is buy frozen fruits and vegetables. This will save time and money because you can actually uh, portion out the fruits and vegetables according to your daily needs. Um, if you are like me, I don't eat a lot of vegetables. My fruits and vegetables go bad all the time in the fridge and I cannot stand it. So when I started buying frozen fruits and vegetables, started portioning them out according to my day and putting them in my meal preps, it actually saves me a lot of money. My frozen fruits and vegetables can stretch me maybe two weeks, three weeks and there you go. Habit number three is buy in bulk. If you are in a family of nucleus like me where we have a lot of boys or we have a, a lot of people in the house, buying in bulk actually saves you a lot of money. Why? Because there's always discount on bulk purchases. Things like canned foods, things like uh, necessities like detergent, uh, like non-perishable items can be bought in bulk and usually have a huge discount on them. So get on that. Habit number four is way before you pay. I know they always put the signs on your cherries, 100 grams for only $1. But when you start packing them into the plastics and then you take them to the cashier without weighing them, it can come out to $13 for cherries, guys. So always pay before you pay. Make sure that you know where your weighing stations are. Make sure you only take what you need and make sure they have a label for the price of the items that you actually take so that you know how much you are going to pay cash it out at the cashier later. Habit number five is walk through the non-essential aisles to get to the other side of the store. Why? Because if you're like me, I have no more babies in the house. So my non-essential aisle would be the baby aisle or the dog food aisle, you know. So when walking through these aisles reduces the tendency of you making impulse purchases that you don't need. You know, if you are hungry and you're walking through the snack aisles, you are, there is a high tendency for you to, well, get a snack. So avoiding all this, uh, going through the non-essential aisles will save you a lot of money, guys. Habit number six is always, always shop with a list. And be loyal to it, guys. I know some of you have lists too, but you are not being loyal to it. <laughs> So being loyal to your list is very, very important because that you know exactly how much or can estimate how much exactly you're going to spend for that day and you do not steer away from the amount. So that itself will save you a lot of money. Habit number seven is always plan your meals. Before you even step into the grocery store, make sure you take inventory of whatever you have at home and make sure you know um, what you can use for your next meals. And always, always add on one or two meals that are using a slow cooker or crock pots. Uh, that is a one dish meal that you can actually prepare for your family. This one is the one that you can actually throw all the rest of the uh, rest of the, the knickknacks that you have in the fridge. Your extra ham, your extra eggs, your extra potatoes, your extra pastas, and you dump it into one pot, and that becomes a meal by itself. That will save you lots of money, guys.
Habit number eight is never shop hungry, especially if you are bringing your kids in tow. Nobody should be hungry, not the kids, not you, not the daddy. Nobody should be hungry when you go for grocery shopping. Reason being is there is a tendency for you to go for lunch first or go for a snack first. And then when you step into the grocery store, you can you you will pass by the food stuff and everything, everything looks so delicious, so tantalizing, and you want to put everything in your basket. So never shop hungry, guys. You will be more rational. <laughs> you will be more rational and you'll be able to make wiser decisions. So tip number nine is buy online. Most supermarkets now have uh, this facility for you to be able to order their products online. Um, they also have freshness guarantee for their stores. So you, you, if you want to buy fruits and vegetables from there, you can do it with an ease of mind as well. This will save you a lot of money, guys, because you are able to see exactly what you put into your, your cart. How much is it going to chalk up? And then, you know, uh, and if you want, need to take things out from your cart, you can actually do so very easily. You can control how much you want to spend at the store and on that day itself. And that it eliminates the drinks, the ice cream after, the snacks, the dinner or whatever that you do after your grocery shopping. So cutting out all these costs will save you a lot, a lot of money. And I hope you find all those tips useful. And if you do try it out, do leave me a comment below. So I'm Maida Saini from the Mom Savers Network. Do like, share and comment uh, and follow me for more lifestyle tips around money and hope to connect with you soon.